it's Erica, Scrap Diva 29 Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great today. I am coming on today to share with you a new um, design that is in my store, ScrapDivaDesigns.com. This is the new uh, Cupcake Memory Dex card. It is absolutely adorable, and I think you guys are going to want to pick this one up. You can use this all year round um, for any theme, obviously, and especially birthdays. Uh, so you get this piece right here to the cupcake. You get the liner and it is the embossed detail. You get this little um, like banner, which is also stitched, which you can stick in your cupcake. And then you get the memory decks card. You get the piece that will create a shaker. You have this layering piece, which you would lay right here. And then you have this die set right here where you can create your sprinkles for your cupcakes. There's two different bow options. You can use this bow or this one. You also get a cherry die and a strawberry. And the strawberry does have a little layering piece for the leaf. You get this little um, pennant. And then you also get this piece right here uh, for the flag. So an adorable die set and it's just super, super cute. So I wanted to come on and assemble it with you so you know how to put it together in case you pick this one up because I always get asked how to put it together. So I figured I would just go ahead and make my sample um, with you today and show you how easy it is to put together. Now I have already die cut all of the pieces out just to save time. And these are some of the confetti pieces that come with the die set. I'll get in just a tad closer so you can see that there are, there's actually embossed detail on the little stars and the little hearts. And um, even the strawberry has some embossed detail. So it's just really, really nice. And what I do um, is I die cut out all of the pieces in heavyweight 110 pound cardstock. Then I go back in with my pattern paper and then I cover it. So this is already um, covered. I've already glued it to 110 pound cardstock so that it's sturdy. I like to create sturdy projects. And so that's what I do pretty much 100% of the time is always layer my pieces with 110 pound cardstock so I have a sturdy base. So I went ahead and did that to all of my pieces. So all of them are layered except for this one right here. And this one actually doesn't have to be layered only because it's gonna be going inside the shaker. But since I've already did it, I'll go ahead and do it for this one as well. And I just like using the Barely Art glue. That works just fine. And I just uh, will layer it like so, just to create a sturdy piece, okay? but everything else is already layered and ready to go. So I figured we'd go ahead and make a cupcake shaker memory dex card. All right, so this is the base piece. So you're gonna start off with this and then we're gonna go ahead and take this um, piece right here and we're gonna lay it right on top like so. So I'm gonna grab my glue and just add a little bit of adhesive to the back of that. And we'll go ahead and glue that down. just like so. And the Barely Arts glue actually dries very quickly. Um, that's why I do like using it. So we've got that piece already down. And then we have this piece right here. I cut it out of some gold foil cardstock from, I believe that I use the Michaels brand and it is layered with 110 pound cardstock. And I'm gonna go ahead and layer that on top of the cupcake. So I'm gonna add my adhesive. And I'm just gonna lay it so that it covers up the, uh, the cupcake. Well, this part, the top portion of the cupcake, just like so. I'm trying to make sure that it's centered. I'm just pressing down. And then the next piece is this piece right here. And I just cut out some foam board so that I could create the shaker. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some adhesive to this. And this will allow us to create our shaker portion. And again, using the fine tip Barely Art Glue, 
it makes it very easy to apply the glue. And then we're just gonna go ahead and adhere that down. And I accidentally just got some glue on that, so I'm just wipe that off. But very carefully position it where you want it. And once you've got it in position, go ahead and push down. And you can turn it to the back and kind of see if you need to move it over or what have you. Make sure that it's all lined up. As you see, I was like a little bit off. And now that's, that's a lot better. It's, it's even now. So I'm just gonna push down and don't worry about this little empty space right here. It's gonna get covered. Okay, I'm gonna use my sequence. And I believe this mix is from Mixing My Way on Instagram. I think she sent me this one. It's super pretty. And I think that's a good amount. I don't want too much. And then I already have my acetate cut and you do have to um, cut your acetate out of this piece right here and then you have to go in and trim off the memory decks portion of it you're going to trim this portion off okay so that's exactly what i did and it will leave you with this so that you can cover that portion up so i'm going to go ahead and add my glue again And I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down. And just press down, make sure that it's centered. And just give it a second to set in. Like I said, this glue dries fairly quickly. All right, so we got that, and now we have this piece right here. This is the outer piece, and we're just gonna cover that up to complete the cupcake look. And we're gonna go ahead and add our adhesive to the back of this. Remember, you just need a little bit of adhesive. A little bit goes a long way. And as you can see, I don't have a very steady hand, <laughs> but that's okay. All right, that looks good. To me we're going to turn this around and go ahead and carefully stick that down like so and look how pretty it's coming together already isn't that gorgeous i love it and that sequence mix is just pretty i used some echo park uh birthday paper that i had in my stash i believe i had picked it up from Tuesday morning at some point. And then this piece right here, I actually layered it with the glitter adhesive foam that I picked up off of Amazon. I shared that a few videos back in my Amazon haul. That piece, I'm just gonna lay right there at the base of the memory decks. And I'm just adding a little bit of adhesive. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stick that down making sure that that looks like it's centered. And that looks good to me. All right, and then I also have this cherry, which I also used the uh, glitter adhesive foam from Amazon, and I'm gonna stick that right there on my Memory Dex card in, inside of the cupcake. This one's going to have a cherry on top. Just like so. I think that's good. And now I'm going to work on the little banner that's going to go behind the cupcake. So I already die cut out um, this word, yay. And I did use an alphabet die that I had in my stash. And so I die cut out the word yay and it had an exclamation point. And then I'm using this uh, bow that comes with the die set. Um, I already cut that out. 
I'm gonna go ahead and adhere it right here to the banner. So I have my glue, I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue and adhere it to the banner. Push down and do the other side. Look how darling that is, I just love this. And I mean, you could do an Easter cupcake and have it, you read Easter or hip hop or hunt. How cute is that? Love it. And then I just got these flowers from Lori who is creating from For Fun. She gifted me these tiny flowers and I thought, you know what, that's perfect for a center for these tiny, these tiny bows. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to adhere it down. I might have to use some hot glue and I didn't bring any hot glue down or my Fabri-Tac. So I'm just gonna carefully just set that down. Hopefully it'll stick as I continue. And then I'm going to put my word on the banner. And I like to place the letters on the banner first. That way I can see exactly where it's gonna go. Make sure I like the position of it. If I can pick this Y up, oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. So it's gonna look something like that. This is the exclamation point. And then I have the little dot. It's gonna go right there. And I'll get that in just a second, but I just need to kind of see exactly how I wanna position these little letters. Okay, so it's gonna look something like that. So that's good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up and add my little adhesive to the back. And just press down. And go ahead and do the A. And when you apply the uh, heavyweight cardstock to your die cuts, it does make it a little bit easier uh, to work with, in my opinion. And it also gives the die a little bit of dimension on your project. Just gives it a little bit of pop, just a little bit. Go ahead and stick that down. And now for the exclamation point. How cute is this, you guys? I love it so much. And it's available right now at scrapdivadesigns.com. So make sure you pick one up before they sell out. You guys know if you've been ordering from my store, most of the die sets sell out pretty quickly. So if you see a die that you think you might wanna get, you should get it now before it sells out because then if it sells out and I reorder, you're gonna to have to wait. And sometimes I don't know how long it takes to get the reorders in after the initial one that I place. So I suggest you go ahead and go ahead and pick it up now because this one's gonna be popular. I already know it is. Okay, look how cute that is. I love it so much. All right, so now I'm just gonna put my cupcake right here and just kind of decide about where I wanna adhere that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add some glue right here and right here. And that should be plenty. And then I'm just gonna position my cupcake right here. And if you think you got too much glue, it'll dry because the glue dries uh, clear. So don't worry about that. You just need a tab just so it will adhere to the back of your cupcake. And look how adorable this is. Oh my goodness. Isn't that super, super pretty? And obviously it does shake around. And you've got this adorable Memory Dex cupcake shaker card. And you could totally cut the base off and just use this on a card, a 3D um, paper purse, um, just any kind of bag you want to put it on, 
Um, it's just, you have a lot of options with this and especially with that adorable banner, you could do so much with that as well. I love the way that this turned out. Leave a comment. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just ask and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye for now.